Hey, it's me, and I wanted to show you all of the new things you can do in the Glide Data Editor as of July 27th, 2021. So um, this is my group chat template, and in my template I have a host email. This is the person who created a chat. I have a comma-separated list of all of the uh, invited users to this chat, and then I have a list of all users. Okay, then I've split the users. These are the splitting of the... Um, yeah, of the all users. And then um, this is an array, right? So whenever you do a split column, right, split text column, it forms an array of data. And then typically, in order to do some, um, some analytics of this information or some relation, you have to create a, a multiple relation of this information back to uh, some sort of originating source, like for example, the user sheet, because these are email addresses. And then using that relation, I could do lookups, I can do rollups, I can do split texts, or I can do uh, I could do single values and so forth. Well, now in Glide, you can do all of those calculated columns without needing a relation. So I can do rollups and lookups and single values and join texts all on the array column itself. Here, let me show you. I'm going to add a new column here. Let's say I want to get a count of all of the users in the chat. Before, what I had to do, right, is uh, create a relation of that split text column back to the emails, and then from there, uh, do a roll-up of that relation. So again, I would have had to do a roll-up of the relation and then do like to the user ID, let's say, and then uh, grab a count of all those. But now I can do a roll-up of the split text itself. So when I go ahead and click on split all users, we now see I have a count of all of the users. This is a count of the um, values in that array. So that's pretty cool. Right. Um, not only can you do roll-ups, but you can also do uh, a join text. So again, you can have always been able to do a joined list off of a relation, um, off of a sheet itself, but now you can do a join list off of an array. And now for my purposes, this is kind of redundant because um, I started with a joined list already and split it to form an array. But there are times in Glide where you actually start with an array. Um, typically, that's when you're naming your Google Sheet columns in such a way to form an array. Um, well, now you can take that uh, array that gets formatted and send it back to become a join list without needing relations and so forth. Uh, also, what's pretty fun here is you can do single values off of an array. So if I do a single value, and maybe I want the uh, first email in the array. Now I can do the first of split all users to grab the very first email in that array. Right? Maybe I want the last. You can get the last one. Uh, you can also get a random one from the array. So that's pretty fun. Uh, you can also grab like the second. So if I want to grab the uh, second item in the array, note that when you're choosing an array, uh, your row zero will be your first one, right? So row one will be my second value, and row two would be my third value, right? So you see that these don't have any um, any data in here because I'm choosing the third value, but there's only two items in this list. Um, lastly here, you can also do a lookup. Uh, you've always been able to do a lookup off of a relation as well as off of a sheet, right? Um, or sorry, off of a relation, but now you can do a lookup off of a whole sheet itself. And if I choose a lookup off of a sheet, like for example, photos, you see I now get an array of photos. So I can do a, um, you know, User photos. Now you don't have to create a relation first. You have a lookup and grab a, and get an array from a sheet itself of all of the values in that sheet. And now because this is an array, I should now be able to do a um, a join list of the user photos. 
right? So now if I want a comma separated list of all those photos, I can. Um, if I wanted to do a, grab the first, right? I could do a single value of the first of the photos, right? Of the last of the photos or of the random of those photos, right? Because it's an array now and I can use this off of the array. So uh, fun new things we can do with the Glide Data Editor, all to do with arrays that I'm really looking forward to, hopefully, fingers crossed, is that we can be able to eventually add and remove items from an array. So uh, when that happens, I'll be sure to create a follow-up video. But for now, go ahead and play around and let me know what you find.